students this is jabadas dinagaran from madras christian college higher secondary school chennai today's uh, video we are going to study about the simple pendulum this is a practicals in your higher secondary plus 1 so here uh, what you are going to learn is to find out the acceleration due to gravity that is the aim of the experiment you are going to find out the acceleration due to gravity at this particular place using this device that is called simple pendulum so for doing this experiment what are the apparatus we need means this is a stand of a simple pendulum where we have connected to a torsionless head and there we have a thread and we have a bob uh doing this experiment we need a stop clock also we need a, measure, a measuring scale that is a meter scale for measuring the length of the pendulum now we we'll start with the experiment you have the formula for acceleration due to gravity that is g is equal to 4 pi square l by t square that means the acceleration due to gravity is directly proportional to the length of the pendulum and it is inversely proportional to the square of the time period so we have the formula of g is equal to 4 pi square l by t square again we have also studied in the laws of simple pendulum the acceleration due to gravity is not going to depend upon the mass of the bob or the amplitude of oscillation so whatever it may be the oscillation amplitude of oscillation or whatever the weight of the bob that doesn't matter here only the length of the pendulum as well as the time period so to start start up with this experiment i am going to find out the length first i am going to set the length first So first I am going to keep the length of the pendulum as 60 cm. So right from the torsionless head to the center of the bob. Now you make this uh, bob to oscillate the pendulum to oscillate. So now I have to get the oscillation. So in your oscillation lesson also you have learned what is the one oscillation that is it has to go from the particular position to the extreme end and again come back. This is one oscillation. Or right from your center means it has to come here and go to the mean position again go to the other extreme end and come back. This is also one oscillation. So for my convenience I am going to say take from here. I am going to leave it come back that is one oscillation. Okay, so likewise, I am going to find out the time for ten oscillation. Okay, I am going to find out the time taken for ten oscillations. So let me make the pendulum to oscillate, and then you can reset the stop clock. Again, you can start it. So while you are starting, you start from the count: one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So once it comes for ten, you can stop, and you can measure what will be the time for ten oscillation. So I'm getting fifteen seconds. Fifteen seconds. Okay. Again, you have to physics needs accuracy, right? So for getting accurate value. repeat the trial for one more trial repeat the experiment for one more trial reset the clock using this knob again make it to oscillate go for 10 trial 10 oscillations you find out time taken for 10 oscillation once you get uh, 10 oscillation you can stop so now we have to vary the length So first uh, trial one and two are over for point six. That is point six meter or sixty centimeter. Now I have to increase the length to seventy centimeter. So for that you just loosen this wire. Bob length will be increased. And again, go for seventy centimeters. now i have increased the length to 70 cm okay first we have said 60 cm now the 70 cm again you reset the stop clock make the pendulum to oscillate 
it will go come back so start it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 away 17 seconds again uh, you have to go for the second trial for 70 centimeter then afterwards you increase the length to 80 centimeter and go for two trials and 90 centimeter and then 100 centimeter so likewise you will do the experiment for various length of the pendulum so by varying the length of the pendulum I am finding out the time period of oscillation so once you have uh, finished your taking reading you can enter in your observation tabla column and now you can do the calculation so now you will see how you have to do the calculation so what you have taken the reading you have put it in the tabla column so for various length for uh, time for 10 oscillation for the first trial second trial and you have taken average okay so let me explain how we have to find out the time period what is time period time taken for one oscillation is called time period okay so what the average you are getting divided by 10 that will be the time period so i have the value for the calculation for t here capital t that is the time period is equal to time for 10 oscillation that is small t by that of 10 so we are getting 15.5 divided by 10 okay so that is 1.55 similarly for the second value 0.7 we are getting an average time of uh, 17 so how to find out time period so t is equal to t small t by 10 so 17 divided by 10 that is 1.7 so likewise we can find out the time period that is time for one oscillation for various length and record it here and then just square it square the time period you will get t square so 1.55 that will be the square is 2.4025 you can use your calculator and you can do this calculations similarly you find out t square for all the values for length 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 0 0.9 as well as 1 meter now i need to find out what will be the value of this is t square calculation now you come to the calculation main calculation that is g is equal to 4 pi square l by t square so substitute the value here 4 into pi value is 3.14 so it is pi square so again 3.14 l value is 0.6 okay divided by t square value is 2.4025 okay so you are converted into meter so 60 centimeter that is 0.6 meter so you multiply the numerator divide by the denominator you can use your calculator again you got the value 9.85 and the unit is meter per second square so similarly you do it for your uh, 70 centimeter that is 0.7 meter and again uh, 80 centimeter that is 0.8 meter likewise uh, 0.9 a meter as well as 1 meter then we have to find out the average so once you get the g value just record it here and you have to find out the mean value of g so for uh, finding out the mean value of g add all the g values that is i am adding 9.85 again the, for the second value 0.7 i got 9.55 and again for point 8 I got 9.74 and 0.9 I got 9.83 and for 1 meter I got 9.86 so 5 items divided by 5 we get the mean value that is mean of g value is 9.77 meter per second square so that is the result acceleration due to gravity g is equal to 9.77 at mcc graphical method how to do the graphical calculation so you have to plot the length along the x-axis and again time period square along the y-axis so i have taken as one centimeter uh, 0.1 meter 0 0.2 0 0.3 like that i have taken in x-axis in y-axis one centimeter is 
0.4 seconds square. So 0 0.4, 0 0.8, 1.2, 1.6 1 like that I have taken along the y-axis. And now for uh, 0 0.6, the t square value is 2.4. So we have taken 0 0.6, we have plotted 2.4. Similarly for 0 0.7, you have 2.89, so plot it. For 0 0.7, what the value you are getting, plot it. You will get a straight line, a linear graph. So from that, I have to find out the slope. So you draw at anywhere, I have taken here the slope and now I am going to find out 1 by slope, 1 by slope. So directly I am going to find out the 1 by slope. So I have taken the values between 0.9 as well as 1. So what will be the length along the x axis? It is only 1.0 minus 0.9 that is we have only 0.1. Similarly for y axis for y axis I have taken between 4.0 as well as 3.6. So what is the value 4.0 minus 3.6 okay that is 0.4. So 1 by slope is 0.1 divided by 0.4 that is L by T square value that is nothing but 0 0.25 0 point. So you got from the graph I have found out the inverse of slope that is L by T square that is value is 0 0.25. Now come to our formula g is equal to 4 pi square L by T square. I have the value 4 pi square value is 3.14 into again 3.14 into L by T square value from the graph I am getting 0 0.25 which is very accurate value and we are getting the g value is also accurate value g is equal to 9.86 and the unit is meter per second square. So finally write the result. The acceleration due to gravity has been determined using your simple pendulum. By calculation method you give the value here and by graphical method also you have to write the value that is 9.86 meter per second square.